So at the Carbonate Reservoir Group, we run a number of key projects. The largest project that we run is what's called the International Center of Carbonate Reservoirs. It's a strategic research alliance between Herdwatt University, University of Edinburgh, and Oxford University. We have got an extensive uh, experience over the last 40 years within the group. A lot of learnings from, from the fundamental research side of it, uh, from our joint industry project, through to specific field cases. We've also had some great people coming, working here, studying here. They're now working in, in industry. They understand how we operate and they interact very strongly with us. One collaboration that we have really recently um, embarked on is to team up with the Uncertainty Group at the Institute of Petroleum Engineering at Herdwatt University. The Uncertainty Group has developed new algorithms, stochastic algorithms, to predict the performance of petroleum reservoirs under geological uncertainties. There's high value in understanding what the uncertainty is, what the risk is of that development decision. Um, uh, and trying to make that better, trying to improve that for the industry. Our research is absolutely relevant, it's exceedingly relevant. The reason we know that is that people from industry come and ask us to do uh, bits of work for them to understand their particular field problems and a little bit more uh, uh, greater understanding uh, so that they can design uh, solutions for their problems. Research always starts fundamentals. So we do a lot of fundamental work looking at the physics, chemical pro physical processes, the chemical processes that occur even down to the poor scale of the carbonates. This is to better understand how changing conditions in the reservoir, for example through oil exploration uh, or then the oil production, um, the rock will behave and therefore the reservoir will behave. Um, so for example it could mean that there is maybe an easier way to get to the oil or it could make it harder and then the experimental data will then feed into the models that are part of the research group. And we try to understand developing new model concepts that we implement into computer models and run these computer models to predict how the fluids flow at larger scales. We start fundamentally at the four, four scale and then we work our way up to the scale of these laboratory experiments to sort of the scale between individual wells and eventually to the entire reservoir scale. The challenge we face is that each piece of rock is different. So trying to create a, an experiment that's reproducible is, is, very, is very difficult indeed. A new uh, technology that has emerged is uh, additive manufacturing. So we can digitally print bits of, bits of rock. In this case, it's a very simple pore structure, but this has been created by a digital printer. So we've not extracted this from a reservoir. It's, actual, it's actually been created from an image that was created by a model. Consequent of this is that we're creating models, first of all, and then uh, generating a physical repl replica of that in which we can carry out experiments. A small sample that we can test in the lab, it's not certain how these properties that we've measured, how they distribute in a reservoir that may be tens of kilometers in size, tens of meters, perhaps even 100 meters in thickness. So we try to understand how we can model these reservoirs, how these properties are distributed in the subsurface, how fluids flow through them, and how we can use that knowledge to improve the prediction of how we recover oil or gas from these reservoirs, or how we can use them to store, for example, greenhouse gases reliably in the subsurface. Commonly in the industry, the subsurface and the surface uh, modeling is quite separate. So we either work on hydrocarbons or we work on the water phase. What I'm trying to do is to combine the two things together um, in order to describe correctly the reactions that occur in the water phase because they are extremely dependent to the partitioning in particular of H2S and CO2 in the gas and the oil phase. So this is really interaction. Facilities are unique in the respect that we can design equipment that will be used to mimic exactly what's happening in the reservoir. And the engineers who work on the design of the equipment here in our, in our own workshop are actively involved in our, in our research. They attend the research presentations, they contribute their own ideas. As a global footprint, we have campuses in Dubai, in Malaysia. We work with students and colleagues from all over the world. We're really well connected. It is often a one-stop shop for industry to come because we can work across the entire range of the upstream oil and gas industry. So one of the things I really like about Heriot Watt is that we have a very strong connection to the oil and gas industry and uh, that's really reflected in the, in the ICCR group, you know, this very strong connection to oil and gas companies and we're doing things that are very practical for them. So it's not just interesting technical research, it has a very, very practical outcome as well. The importance of the work is twofold. 
there is a financial imperative to try and generate energy at as low a cost as possible and to extend, especially in an environment where the cost of, of, of energy generation is a critical issue for many people. We've not yet moved into, into a time when we can move away from using hydrocarbons. We're, we're getting there, but it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight. And so we need to reduce the cost to make energy available uh, for as many people uh, as cheaply as possible. Brilliant being um, uh, here and working as part of the flow assurance and scale team, not only because you get to do state-of-the-art research, but also because you have um, a uh, high level of interaction with all the sponsors. Here it's, it's by far the most diversified but also the most dynamic and, and applied um, studying and working environment which really makes your work more meaningful um, and, and you, see, you see you get a question today and within a few months time you have an answer. The operators go and make decisions based on your answer. So what really excites me about the work here is the freedom to do things that are of interest and that make a difference and the opportunity to work with some very able, very dedicated people both here at the university and collaboratively uh, with uh, colleagues across the world.